Haptic Accidents Presented by Dr. Rajan Anand from Purnia, Bihar We show you a series of haptic accidents with multi-piece eyewells. Hydrophobic multi-piece lenses are manufactured by reputed companies. They are considered safe and stable. However, they have an inherent defect of breaking of haptics during insertion because the proline haptics are soldered to the optic. When you have a case like this, the completion of Rexis itself is a satisfying process. Division of the nucleus again goes in favor of the case and when you end up the case smoothly, your mind is already on the next case. However, all is not over. In this case, as we proceed with the implantation of a hydrophobic multi-piece lens, we meet with an accident. The lens is loaded in the cartridge, the piston advanced, the lens advanced inside the cartridge and then the implantation process. Inserting the cartridge in the eye, the leading haptic is delivered in the bag. The optic comes out but then the trailing haptic breaks off. Now I have a lens with one haptic in the eye. The only option I have is to explant this lens and replace it with another. Luckily I have another lens of the same power in my stock. So we proceed with the explantation. I use a corneal scissor to cut the optics halfway through till the center. I make a small nick. Try to advance the blades of the scissors as far as possible, safeguarding the posterior capsule, cut again, advance my scissors further and cut the lens at least up to the center. Now I shall hold the lens with a forcep and try to bring it out, rotating it and trying to bring out with that small incision. The lens is being pulled out, rotated across and the optic is almost, almost out. But look the damage that I have caused. The trailing haptic has caused a zonular dialysis, a good amount of zonular dialysis. I try to reinflate the bag. push in visco, reinflate the bag and I realize that apart from zonular dialysis there also is a small tear at 12 o'clock position. I am not very comfortable with injecting CTRs so I place another lens in the bag and try to use the haptic to keep the bag extended inflated and its position. This is the case one year follow up. The lens is well centered. In the second case, a similar situation, the leading haptic delivered in the eye. The optic goes in, but with a jerk, the trailing haptic breaks and it's lying over the optic. This time I break off deliberately the other haptic so that I don't cause such a tear in which I caused in the last case. Again the optic is cut halfway. The cut edge is held by a forcep and the lens is rotated using the edge of the incision as a pivot so that the 6 mm optic comes out through a 3 to 3.5 mm incision. This is how the lens is being brought out. 
and the whole lens is explanted now again since I have another lens of the same power I replace that lens with a new one explanting a lens does cause some anxiety to the, pa to the patient and to the surgeon in the third case again loading a multi-piece lens in the cartridge when I advance the piston I realize that the leading haptic is not coming which means it is stuck inside somewhere I check for it and realize that it has folded upon itself and broken again since I have another lens of the same power I open that lens this time I am a bit careful in loading the lens in the cartridge and again when I am advancing my piston the trailing haptic remains where it was while the lens advances which means the trailing haptic has broken this time in the same case two multi pieces lenses have broken you can understand the financial loss and finally I had to implant a single hydrophobic piece <coughs> lens in the eye the patient was happy but my pocket suffered a lot in the fourth case again the lens is being implanted and the trailing haptic remains in the cartridge broken off this lens was a 28 diopter lens I did not have a standby multi-piece or a single piece lens and the patient was insistent that he has a foldable implant so in this case the option left to me was I knew that this lens will not remain in the center it will be decentered but if it has to be decentered I wanted it to be decentered inferiorly so that the patient does not have diplopia or glare in the down gaze so I rotate the lens keep the haptic the only remaining haptic superiorly and allow the lens to be decentered inferiorly I constrict the pupil to look for the amount of decentration and I pray a bit extra to God that day however the patient did not have much visual complaint and I could get off in this case but multi-piece lenses are prone to breakage and they have been reported by many people so nowadays although I have replaced the injector which I doubted I usually do not use multi-piece lenses and keep them as a standby if I have to implant it in the sulcus otherwise in routine cases I think for the patient and for the surgeon a single piece implant is safer whatever be the cause a defective injector a defective technique or any property of the multi-piece lenses I have stopped using it, I am happy and my patients are happy.